So, Amber, did you enjoy your birthday party? Now let's help your mother clean up the room. Oh, yes, Dad. But I first want to see my gifts. Hmm. Let's ask your mother. Mom, can we first open my gifts? Please, I promise I will then help you in cleaning. Hmm. Okay. This is your day. So, let's first open your gifts. Yahoo! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm, last year, I got eight gifts. Mom, looks like this year I have got more gifts. Yay! Hmm. Well, that's good, Amber. I can see some chocolates here. I gifted you two chocolates in the morning. Remember? So, how many chocolates do you have now? Mm. Oh, one, two, three... Oh, Amber, I'll teach you a simple way to keep track of your gifts. The method is called data handling. Amber, data handling is grouping each type of object and then counting the groups. In other words, we group objects to know the number of each type. Data handling makes it very simple to keep a record of the different items we have. See, we have three books. Okay, so we have done data handling by keeping the books together and counting them. That's my boy. So, Amber, now can you tell me how many chocolates you have? arranged the chocolates together and now I can count the number of chocolates in the group. I have four chocolates and mom gave me two chocolates this morning. So, I have six chocolates. Yes! Isn't now data handling simple? Now, you just have to group and count the pencils and the teddy bear. Okay, there are two pencils and one teddy bear. Dad, do we use data handling only to group and count items? No, son. Data handling helps in other ways also. For example, a shopkeeper groups things to keep record of different objects in his shop. This way, he knows immediately when some object is out of stock. If you also keep your pencils, colors and books grouped, it becomes easy for you to choose things. Hmm. Then, I can keep the books and pencils on my study table. The teddy can be kept in my toy box. Right, Dad? Exactly! So, data handling is a good way to keep record and organize our things. Hello, Sunflower. Why do you look so worried? Oh, Amber, my mother has asked me to create a record of flowers and I don't know how to do that. I keep losing the count. Don't worry, Sunflower. I'll help you. You first need to group all similar flowers together. Now, on the record sheet, 
write the names of the four types of flowers let's count the roses we have five roses now just write the number of roses in the record sheet wow this is so easy let's count the daisies now we have three daisies do you want to try counting sunflower sure there are four lilies and there are three tulips wow this is so simple my record is ready your counting method was amazing this method is called data handling in data handling we group and count the number of items in each group it is a very useful method for organizing things thanks amber you helped me a lot today oh you are welcome sunflower wow data handling is fun and useful isn't it come on let's revise the concepts we have learned today data handling means grouping and counting objects it makes organizing objects easy it also helps in keeping a record of objects data handling helps us to present data in an easily readable manner